amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy, and today I'm going to show you a real classic. It's called Pollo en Pepitoria, which translates as a chicken stew with almonds and saffron sauce. And it's a really old fashioned dish, so much so that you cannot even find it in restaurants these days. Not even in Madrid, where I think it kind of originates, kind of in the middle, in the two Castillas. Um, and it's heavily influenced by the Arabs, you know, it feels a bit like a korma. Uh, it may have its origins in India, who knows, but it has saffron, it has cumin, it has... Um, what else I was going to say? Almonds! <laughs> Which uh, is sort of those type of techniques and ingredients used by the Arabs what make me think that, that really it has to have its origins in there. But anyway, without further ado, let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need bay leaf, cumin powder, saffron, fresh thyme, bread, egg, salt and pepper, whole chicken, extra virgin olive oil, blanched almonds, some white wine, flat leaf parsley, garlic, Spanish onion and chicken stock. We're going to start by infusing with saffron our chicken stock over low heat and keep it that way until we use it. In a separate small saucepan, we're going to hard boil an egg for seven minutes. Cool it down and we'll peel it a little later. Now on the big pan, the main event. Pour your extra virgin olive oil over medium heat and put the almonds, the slices of bread, which we want to fry for about a minute and a half in each side. If your pan is a little smaller, I recommend you to saute your almonds because turning one by one is quite difficult. And remove them from the pan. Now fry the parsley in the same oil. Remove your bread that it's nice and crispy on both sides. It should only take about 20 seconds for the parsley, by the way. And now we are going to be creating the beautiful paste by roughly chopping the almonds, the bread and the parsley. Adding a little bit of that chicken stock infused with the saffron so that it's easier to bring it together. Peel your boiled egg and keep the egg white for later but we are going to use the egg yolk as a thickening agent and this is exactly what's special about this recipe chop the white of the egg coarsely for later which we will use for decoration and bleach your paste until you have a quite a thick puree something of a pesto texture approximately now let's butcher out our chicken you can use any knife that you have at home and using two in this case, a bony knife and a chef knife for cutting through the bones. But with the bony knives it's a little easier to just cut through the joints as you can see because it's flexible. So first remove the back legs of the chicken, cut through the carcass which you can keep to use later for making a stock which is fantastic. And if you butcher your chicken in advance, you can make your chicken stock that you're gonna be using for this recipe as well. So uh, there you go. Now cut your crown in half where the breasts are and cut each breast and the legs sort of in three pieces. In total, you should take, you should cut your chicken in about 10 to 12 pieces. Season them with a little bit of salt in both sides. And now we're going to prepare the vegetables. Peel and thinly slice your garlic, peel and finely chop your Spanish onion as finely as you can because at the end of the day this sauce, you have two options, either you do it all quite coarse and then you blend it after you cooked it or you cut it, you cut it all so thin and so small that you don't have to, which is the option I'm going through. Now let's start cooking the chicken on the same frying pan as we use with the same oil and add a little bit more if you have to start caramelizing your chicken which is with the skin on until it's really nice and brown that should take you about 15 minutes and now we're going to start forming the sauce so again pour some olive oil in it if you need a little bit more add your onion your garlic and your bay leaf and fry it for about 10 minutes until it's really nicely brown. Now we're going to start toasting the spices. So add your cumin. You can take a look at that texture. As remember, cumin burns very quickly. So we're going to deglaze it with the white wine, which you can flambe if you want to, but I didn't want to 
to, to create a fuss and a show today <laughs> and add your fresh thyme. Deglaze the bottom of the pan, as you can see it all got a bit dark, and add your thickening paste that we made with the almonds, the bread and the egg yolk. And you can now see that it's sort of forming a roux, you know, quite a thick uh, paste in there, which we're going to dilute with the chicken stock and we're going to add our chicken pieces with some of the juices that have released. Season it with a bit of salt, a bit more pepper for the sauce. Before it was for the chicken, now it's for the sauce. And let it simmer for about 40 minutes in low to medium heat until it's ready. Take a look at the thickness of the sauce, which feels very much like a curry, and as well the color that it has achieved. Now sprinkle a little bit of the egg white over it, some of the almonds and a bit of flat leaf parsley that we've reserved before. It looks stunning. I can't wait to dig in and give it a taste. I mean, I feel very privileged, to be honest with you, that we've been handed over such a wonderful recipe. I mean, this is just full of fragrance. I haven't even tasted it yet. Let's give the sauce a try. I mean, I think I said it all. It's just full of flavor. It's like a curry. It's curry-esque, but without any cream or yogurt. A lot more natural, less fat without a doubt, and plenty of rich, rich flavors like the saffron. I hope you enjoy the recipe. I hope you give it a try. If you do, please share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and remember, for the recipe, you can find it on my website, thespanishchef.com, and equally, you will find plenty of Spanish ingredients as well. All the best, familia, and see you again soon. Adios! If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe.